What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. So check it out. Um, so it's been about a year um, since I've owned my car, my C8. Um, and I just want to do a little video just to, you know, let you know what the year has been like owning this car. Um, I, I'll probably break down some costs um, because I have put some money into the car. Um, as far as maintenance, uh, within one year, um, so far I've done uh, two oil changes. So the first oil change I did, uh, I bought the car with like, I bought the car with like 5,000 miles on it, 5,000 and some change. So I got the first oil change at like 7,500, which it calls for. So every 7,500 miles, you're supposed to take it in and you know, get uh, oil change, filters, whatever. You know what I mean? Um, they mark milestones for you. So the first oil change was done at 7,500 miles. A dealership charged me roughly 20, uh, 28, two, <laughs> $285, all right? So $285 for my first oil change, right? Also, they found a nail and the right rear tire. That right rear tire was gonna cost me 480 bucks, but when I bought the car, the right rear tire was constantly going low, so I had like a slow leak, right? Um, it was gonna cost me, cost me 480 bucks. I called my salesperson, she was, she was awesome. She was like, you know what, Chuck? We did discuss, uh, we did notice that, you know, every time you bought it back, the air was low in that tire, so, they changed that tire free of charge for me. So I got a brand new uh, rear tire for that side. Um, I didn't want to pay the 480. I had just spent almost six grand on the wheels that I got right now. And I was waiting for those wheels to come in when I took it in for the servicing. So uh, they did me a solid. They replaced the, the tire free of charge. Well, not exactly free of charge, right? They charged me 50 bucks for the install. I'm cool with that. I'll pay the 50 bucks. So the oil changed the 50 bucks for the tire. Um, and then after that, it was just gas and stuff, right? Um, I just did the second oil change and I did that myself. Um, it took about seven and a half quarts of oil, which I had to order the oil, the special oil. So seven and a half quarts of oil plus the filter and it was like 140 bucks. So I saved myself about 145 bucks doing it myself. And I'm totally comfortable doing it myself. Um, I was in the Air Force. Um, aircraft mechanic, so I'm cool with that. I'll do it. Uh, as far as maintenance, those those are the only things that I had done. I'm coming up on the time to change the dual clutch transmission filter, which it was already done uh, prior to me buying the vehicle. So I'm coming up on uh, that again. I checked the the life. I think I'm at like 23% for the uh, dual clutch transmission filter. So. I'll be looking at doing that down the line. Shout out to all the other CA owners that have been posting how-to videos on YouTube. Those things come in handy. As far as mods, so what have I done to my car? First off, the wheels. I did the wheels. I changed out the wheels. I got these wheels specially made from uh, Rev, Dyn Rev Dynamics. Uh, went with the, I think the interior is torch red on the barrel and then standard black for the outside of the wheels. I changed the top, that really wasn't a mod. I kinda had to do it. Uh, if you've been following the channel for a little bit, you know that your boy lost this top. Forgot to latch it, it blew smooth off. So is it a mod? Yeah, because it's not the standard top. Uh, it's the, it's the see-through top. So the top, the wheels, and also I changed the daytime running lights to red. I got those through uh, Paragon Performance. Paragon? Yeah, Paragon Performance. I got those through them. And then recently, I just put a front splitter on the front end. So the wheels were about six grand. The top was 2,400, but insurance, I came out of pocket about 400 for that. The lights were, I wanna say the lights were 295, and then the front splitter was 85 bucks. So. I don't have my calculator. I'm not doing the math. You guys can add it up. 
that's how much I have in the car so far in mods. So uh, let's see, six, two, that's eight, 84, 84, and we'll call it a solid three. That's 87, uh, 87, 87, 58. I don't know, fact check. Um, I didn't do the math on it all the way. So that's what I have in the car so far, as far as mods. So maintenance, mods, all in all, it's, it's not bad. It's not bad. I love the car. If you've been watching the channel, you know I just got it back from uh, having it repaired. I hit a pothole and it cost about, it did about six grand in damage. Good thing I have uh, pretty good insurance. Um, so that's it. But other than that, I mean, it's been, it's been awesome driving the car. Some things I have learned about the car, um, it's it's different driving a vehicle that's rear or mid engine versus your standard front end engine uh vehicle this thing is so much fun i mean every time i get in it and i go i just enjoy the ride as far as driving around town besides potholes uh, it's a head turner people people do look people you know, pull out their cameras and they're trying to, you know, record you, especially when you have like the mods, right? When they see the red lights behind them and then you pull up at the light, the the, the cameras come out. Or I have, I have one dude, I'm driving, we're going opposite ways, right? He's got his camera out and he's doing this the whole time I'm driving by. Yo, I swear, four seconds went by from him filming to the time he turned back to watch the road uh so that's crazy i never had that happen before but all in all like i said i have fun driving this vehicle i, I love it um so what did the vehicle do for the channel um if you guys check out my my subs so i bought the car last year october 28th right uh from the time i bought the car added it to the channel and start doing the mods and uh all the all the filming and the doing everything on the car. Uh, my channel went from, I think I was at 80, 80 something subs, and now I'm at like 6,000. So the car has definitely helped the channel out big time. And shout out to all you guys for uh, all the views and the subs, I really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, I, I love the car. What don't I like about the car? So there are some things I don't like about the car. Um, one, I shouldn't have got a black car. Yo, this car is so hard to keep clean. Oh my gosh. Black is hard. Is, it's hard to keep it clean. Um, I would wash it, go to work. And as soon as I come, come out to go, go home, the, the car is like orange. It's crazy. Right. And, and it's, it's, well, not exactly orange, more like a greenish brown from all the pollen and everything or the dust when they, uh, when they cut the grass. So it's hard to keep clean. It's hard to clean for me, um, which is why I have my son doing it now. Uh, shout out to Immaculate Detailing. Uh, my son has his own detailing business. So uh, I have him clean the car and detail the car, which it is, it is overdue for one about now. Uh, so I'm gonna have to wait and get on his schedule because uh, he's back in school now. But um, it's hard to keep clean. Like I, I have a hard time doing it myself. It's just so many angles and you got to get down and do it, man. I'm done on all that. My back can't do it. Um, what else don't I like about the car? Oh, I tell you. So the, the trunk is self-closing, right? So you, you get it to a point and then it sucks it in and close it. The front is not. So anytime I go in the front, and I open it, it pops open. When I go to close it, I have to press it down to close it. Now that's on your 2020 to 2023 models. The 2024 model, I guess enough people complained, and now the 2024 model has the, the same uh, mechanism in, in the front as it do in the, in the back, it's self-closed. So that's, I, I don't have that option. Uh, I don't have the mag ride. I haven't ridden in a, a, a Corvette that had the mag right, so I don't know the difference yet. But uh, yeah, I I feel I feel every bump in the road. So 
um, that that's one thing. Um, but I mean, if I was somewhere else like Texas or Florida or something like that, certain uh, I, I went to West Palm and their roads are pretty smooth. But Louisiana has some of the most horrible roads. Oh my gosh. Um, so yeah, I don't have Mag Ride. Um, so Mag Ride, the self close, and it's hard to keep clean. I think those are the only things that I really don't like about the vehicle. Everything else, uh, I'm cool with. You know, getting in and out of the car is not bad. I'm five eight and three quarters. I had someone ask uh, in the comment section uh, one of my vehicle. Uh, one of my uh, one of my views in the comment section, they asked, "Well, you know, I'm six three. Do you think I have a problem getting in and out of it? I don't think so. Um, I had a I got a buddy of mine. We went bowling this weekend, and that dude's like six two, six three, and he he sat in the passenger seat, no problems. I mean, there's plenty of room. You just have to adjust the seat accordingly. Um, but me at five eight and three quarters. Don't forget my three quarters." Um, I like to say that I'm pretty uh, average height for a guy. Yeah, average height. I think that's average height. Five eight is average height. I'm going with that. If you guys say different, it is what it is. But in my eyes, five eight average height for a guy, and I fit in it pretty nicely. Um, other than that, uh, that's that's it. Uh, oh yeah, blind spots. So you do have blind spots when you're, you're driving. So I'd be very careful changing lanes, uh, things like that, because especially here in Louisiana, these cats do not use turn signals. Like they see an opening, they just take it. You know what I mean? There's no turn signal. There's nothing letting you know that they're about to change lanes. None of that. They just do it. So uh, I'd be mindful, mindful of that, especially at the speeds that you're rolling. Like even if you're even if you're cruising doing the speed limit, which I do all the time. People tend to not see you. So be careful uh, changing lanes. Um, I use the mirrors. I adjust the mirrors for how I sit in the car, right? So I use the mirrors, but I also kind of turn my head. You're not going to see too much out of the backside, but I do turn my head to make sure um, I'm not moving in on anybody or anything like that. But uh, other than that, that's that's it. You know what I mean? Like like I'm I'm enjoying the car. I'm thoroughly enjoying this car. I'm glad to have it back. Uh, after the pothole incident, it was gone for about a month. Uh, it was it was at Rev uh, Rev Coatings and Collisions. I always get it wrong, and I probably still got it wrong. So yo Hunter, if you see this man, my bad. Is uh, Revit is Revit. Coatings and collision or Revit collision and coating. I almost I always get those two mixed up. But yo, shout out to my man Hunter over there, dude. Like I said, he he really hooked me up. He really he really did his thing. So I appreciate it. Uh, like I said in the last video, that dude fought for me to get uh, OEM parts, and that's what I have. Like the the bumpers OEM, everything is OEM since it was a new car. I don't know why my insurance company tried to go uh, aftermarket, but. My man did what he did, worked his magic, and he, he got it back together and got it to me. So, um, but yeah, that's that's it. I gotta show you guys this uh, the front splitter. I think it I'm, I think it makes it look more aggressive. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm digging that. So uh, yeah, let me let me get you some uh, video footage of this front splitter. Uh, let me know what you think. Next up, as far as mods. Uh, I gotta chill for a little bit because I spent I spent a lot so far. But next up, as far as mods, um, I think I'm gonna do a side skirt, uh, side skirt spoiler. I don't know about the rear diffuser. Um, maybe uh, I don't know. I don't think I want to change the back end of the car. But definitely a spoiler, side skirts, and change out the exhaust. And I think once I do those things, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. I mean, as far as performance stuff, uh, like there's people putting cold air intakes in, uh, throttle bodies, uh, all that stuff. I don't think I'm going to get into that uh, too soon. I definitely want to change out the exhaust. I definitely want to do that um, and definitely put like a, a, a nice spoiler on the back. Maybe you guys got some recommendations as far as spoilers. I'm not sure yet. Like I check out all these different spoilers and 
I don't know what I want back there. I don't want anything too big. Um, but I definitely want to put something back there and then definitely get the side skirts. So, um, with that said and done, done and said, uh, I think that's it. I'm going to get you the footage of the front spoil, uh, the front splitter. And then, yeah, we'll roll from there. Uh, hold on. All right. So here's the front splitter. Sheesh. So here is where the original stops, and then this is the splitter here. All that, so I like it. I definitely like it. And check out the wheels. Yeah, so there you have it. So yeah, there you have it. Uh, so man, I, like I said, I'm I'm thoroughly enjoying this car. Uh, it's my baby, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep enjoying it. Um, so like I said, more to come. I got some more mods coming, but probably won't see those until next year. You know what I'm saying? I. I think I, I think I tapped out the, uh, the, the, the modification bank right now. Uh, I swear, uh, my wife is checking, checking the mail, like UPS, any type of, uh, big delivery. She goes, what'd you buy now? It's something for you and me and us. I hope you like it, but, uh, yeah, nah, I'm going to chill for right now on the mods. I'm going to roll, roll this for a little bit. Um, yo. Let me know what y'all think. Um, definitely keep keep subscribing, keep liking. Make sure you hit that notification bell. All right, make sure you hit that notification bell. I got a lot more videos coming. Um, so and definitely, definitely, definitely subscribe. Check out my merch in the uh, comment section below. And with that said and done, done and said, I'm out. See. You.